Hello and welcome to High Caliber TV or Source 4 Figure and Model Updates every Wednesday and Friday. So today on Figure Friday I'm doing a quick unboxing of some of the most recent D-Day releases that we've got in stock. These are two kits that comprise four figures for the last order, Volkstrom, Germany, 1945. So I'm thinking sort of uh, Berlin, uh, the last days when Berlin was besieged by the Allies. And you've got the gamut of, uh, you know, the pot-bellied old fella and the youth. And they're all armed with disposable, you know, Panzerfaust and things like that for their last line of defense kind of thing. They've all got the yellow armbands and stuff. This guy's actually got a, a really interesting late war submachine gun that he's got on his back. So I'm just going to crack these open, take a look. Here's this guy in his fantastic looking trench coat. Helmet. He's sort of the only one who's more or less regulation, like he was a veteran who rotated back from the east, maybe has a, a debilitating injury, lost some fingers or something in the east, but uh, they put him back on the front line now because he's got no choice. So yeah, fantastic single cast figure. Not seeing any mole lines actually. This is really, really great stuff. D-Day is a really great company out of Poland. Uh, so of course... Head's separate component, his SMG goes around here. You could replace it with an MP40 or a Model 98, something like that. Yeah, really great stuff. The Sheen, as I've mentioned before, is mold release solution, so you're going to want to go over it with a, an old toothbrush or a brush gently soaked in something like... I'd recommend um, Windex with vinegar. That'll take it off and then you can prime and go on from there. People say soap and water, but I've heard actually from somebody on the YouTube channel uh, that you wanna be careful about what soap you use because it can uh, damage the resin. So I don't know which soap would damage the resin, so I just have sort of stopped using soap and water. But uh, here's the fella, he's definitely got a pot belly. He's probably in his uh, 60s maybe, I reckon. But yeah. I think these figures are fantastic because they de they tell a definite story. Uh, I've already got plans. You know, modelers are fantastic planners. Uh, but I've already got plans. I'm thinking I'll have the four of these figures besides something like a, a King Tiger or a, my L70 Long with a beautifully dressed SS officer. Uh, and he's sort of talking down to all the uh, the remainder of the Volkstrom, giving them their final orders kind of thing. Because they're all in their civilian clothes or makeshift, you know, here. Here. This is the little girl. A couple of casting blocks here to be removed, but that's, you know, it's nothing extreme. Really fantastic stuff. Mix these in with some, uh, I'm thinking some Stalingrad civilians going the other way, something like that, in Berlin. Yeah, wow. Awesome stuff. Really fantastic. It's this guy, the young, young boy, has a couple extra components. Panzerfaust. Two arms, etc. So, there we go. I just wanted to do a quick unboxing video to keep the channel alive, keep you guys in the loop about what's happening in the shop. These are fantastic figures. D-Day, we got in a big order of them, a whole bunch of restocks, and they're basically their 2015 lineup. Uh, so, yeah. Fantastic stuff. Check us out at HighCaliberMiniatures.com. Thanks so much to everybody for supporting the YouTube channel. Uh, we don't get revenue from YouTube. This is just sort of a way for me to show what I'm doing on the workbench, answer questions, get the word out about stuff that we got in the shop. But I really, really appreciate all the support we get, uh, all the comments, fantastic. And uh, we're actually doing work now with that 135th scale show. Ian Candler is an awesome modeler, and he's got a really great YouTube show. Far better than this one, actually. If you're looking for YouTube stuff, go check him out. Um, I might put a link in the description. But yeah. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.